Good morning, everybody. It's Nick at BMP, and we are getting ready for another week. Interesting one this week. A lot of joinery, a uh, lot of tinkering around. Um, it's one of those strange jobs where it's more about time and thought than it is the actual amount of work. It's the setting out and the designing and the planning. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a different one this week. So I look forward to showing you guys. If you are new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom. We hope you enjoy it. It isn't all just work-based. We do have a bit of fun. There's a good few laughs. We've got quite a few subscribers now who just subscribed for the giggles. So, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Uh, later on in the video, we hope to do a bit of a Q&A. Um, we haven't done one for a while, so we thought we'd let new subscribers get involved. Um, yeah, in a minute, I shall hop out of the van and show you the job. I also feel the need to address two things that have occurred to me over the weekend through through the through the channel. A uh, couple of questions or comments that I feel need to be, that are kind of repeatedly asked or things that are said in a negative light. So I'm just going to clear them up. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'll hop out the van and record. I'm going to have to give it a minute because the customer's going to want to chat. Um, and then, uh, so I'll, I'll jump out, we'll record, show you what's going on, wait for the boys to arrive, and then we'll get rocking and rolling. As if by magic, everyone's arrived and we're getting started. There's an old fence in, so Chris is just ripping that down. Easy up. Um, customer wanted to try and save his and Abe was going to use them for a fence, but to dig them out by hand one by one, it's ten hours and hours breaking the concrete off, so we'll just rip them out. Um, if some survive, they survive. So the idea on this job is, I don't know if you can see with the camera angles and so on, a really steep incline and um, the customers are struggling to look after it it's just unmaintainable so the idea is we're going to run a new fence down this section here think at four foot staggered up take all this grass off um, and then we're going to build two huge sleeper planters um, that are going to be membraned and graveled i believe i think i think it was gravel i'm not sure and then we're going to extend the block paving out slightly as well so this original path we're going to uh, it. Bloody cabinet. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, excuse my French then. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna extend the path out up here uh, and then it's just extend the path slightly for us, it's a bit more accessible. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a it's not really a lot of work, but it's tricky, and these things take more time than sticking a bloody big drive down, you know. By the time you're tinkering about and organizing it, sorting it all out, it's a nightmare. So Anyways, we'll get rocking. Okay, so we have a plan of attack. However, Chris is now unwilling to move his van and let me out. He says he's parked and that's where it's stopping. Connor wants to drive it. He reckons he can do it easily. So it we won. think, gonna are you going to go for a 19 point turn then? Is that what you're doing? I'll get it. All right. I bet you can get that in two turns. What do you think, my friend? I think it would have been easier for you to just back up there and then park on my mate's drive over there, but... Reverse she's in, she's in parking That's it, mate. It's, it's, once it's in park, <laughs> in it's in park, innit? it? So, uh, yeah, we're screwed. So, yeah, we're going to go fetch a saw and a bucket, a little bucket, and then we're going to crack on. Right, let's see if it can be done. What is he doing? I told you he wouldn't do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? You all right to what? He's bottled it now, hasn't he? The beer's got to him. Hey! What is he doing? Oh, is he going down there? Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's done you. No, he hadn't, Lord. He hadn't, he hadn't. Two turns. Pull up, pull up. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, he's got it. That sound, you're back in the same place you were. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You've done really well there, pal. You should have just done that first. Gone in the corner. 
Paul's going to get it? I don't think he is. Oh, he might do. Whoa, 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 Ooh! He's got an inch. Keep going. I'm proud of you. First time anyone's ever been proud of you. Your mum's been ashamed of you all your life. Van's broke. Van's broke. Gearbox is gone. <laughs> Here we go. Boys and girls, we're on the move. Okay, so we're on the move. I'm gonna go fetch some stuff from uh, from the uh, really dead secure garage that we've got. Eh? <laughs> People wonder, oh, well, this is what happens when you leave tools in your van, blah blah blah. Let me tell you now, what? Because sheds and garages don't get broke into. It. What do you want? If I had it in my garage, you go, well, you should lock it in the van. Yeah. You can't win. So we're going to my thingy first, yeah, yeah. Westdale, yeah. Um, yeah, so I said there was a couple of things I wanted to address. Um, first thing that keeps coming from the comments, which I find really, really annoying, is people keep saying, oh, why do you need five men to do a job like that? And as I keep pointing out, if you're a fan of the channel, what do you want me to do? Like, just, should I just lay Foldy off that week and not pay him or get rid of Ryan? Or, you know, that's not how you run a business. You won't have any staff. The way we work is minimal profit, maximum gross. So we basically, we turn over a lot of work. So yeah, look, you can have one, two men do a patio, that patio we did last week, and it take what? Two week? Or we can get in there, all of us, smash it in three days, it's the same difference. We make the same amount of money equally. Keeps us all in work. You know, you've got four or five men employed. It's good for the economy, we're paying our tax, we're paying our national insurance, our VAT. What more do you guys want? I can't keep, I can't just pick people up and put them down when I feel like it. It's not how the world works, unfortunately. So yeah, that is my reasons behind it. And on top of that, I'll do what I want. It's my business, get stuffed. Yeah, and the other thing, obviously yesterday, I did all my all putting the video on with what had gone on with the customer. And at the time we were quite heated about what had happened and been said. And like I did say later on in the video, it was rectified and there was apologies made and so on the next day and so on, it, it, you know. Um, and there's two reasons behind me putting it on. First of all, I want to be honest with you guys. I'm not about putting some fluffy thing out there where we pretend this isn't the real world. There's too much of that on the television. Um, you know, we're a work, proper working gang of lads and this is we've shown you what's happening on a daily. This is what happens, what we deal with. And I got a couple of really nasty comments about it being unprofessional behavior and talking about a paying customer like that and blah, blah, blah. But I'd go back to again, it's like, it kind of works both ways. This whole, if, you, if you're that kind of person that you think that, then you're just a shit person and you want to look at yourself. Like, it's about being empathetic to people and being polite and nice and, and, and respectful. And it works both ways. Just because I'm a company or I'm a professional, you can't just speak to me, you know, am I supposed to just stand there and tolerate absolute abuse and, and nastiness just to, because I'm professional? You know, it, and I know I do and I tolerate a lot and, you know, but on occasion it's a little bit too much and I am only human, as are we all, and, you know, it tempers fray, you know, tempers fray a little bit and, and things get said. You know, it's just realism, but to question my professionalism is ridiculous. Like, you can go back and watch, you know, any new subscribers or potential customers, you know, yeah, we mess about a bit for, for your guys' benefit and for entertainment value, but, the gist of this whole channel is we get the job done. We're not messing around. There's never been a customer left in the crap. You know, we get there. You see, we work in the rain last week because that customer had needs that needed to be, you know, that we needed to do it for her. That is it. The, the customer in my business comes before everything else. To, to put that into question, it's just ridiculous. Like, I think it's pretty clear that I go above and beyond, and all of us do, doing the job for people. So, yeah, just, just, I know some people aren't in this profession and you know, there's a lot of keyboard warriors out there. Um, but yeah, just have a little think before you post silly comments. And also, if you continue with it and it's thing here, it literally takes me two clicks to block you forever. So, <laughs> you cra it'll take me less time to block you than it does you typing it. So just bear that in mind, it's a waste of time. I'm not gonna, I get, I've been doing this now for a year odd. Do you know how much abuse I've had and how much nasty comments and ridiculous, it's water off a duck's back now. I'll just delete you. You're just gone like that. I don't care if you've been on the channel a year, I'll just, you're gone. And, and that's for my own sanity. I'm not going to run a channel in my spare time and just suffer 
abuse and fools and silly little snarky comments and know it all and I do it this way and blah blah I'm not gonna listen to it I do what I do I do it well and I'm proud and I'll argue to the death about it all I'll I do it the right way in my mind as best I can so that's the end of that anyway let's get on okay so we have arrived at the secret HQ Connell this is like an episode of Cribs it is, isn't it? this is where Connell lives lot come in right I'm this is his little Side gets to work. Yeah. This is his bed. And his little bed slash living room. Yeah, and this is his little uh his little duvet. This is where he brings the ladies back. Yeah. Uh I mean, ooh, I we have got yeah, some reeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we might have. So for all you like knowing about that squeaky machine, that's why it's squeaking, because the it's here. <laughs> it's here. Yeah. The telly's gone, mate. Did you get rid of the telly? Yeah, that's it. Used to have a big used to have a big plasma with gas when remember when plasmas were a thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what have we come for? And is it here? It's not here. It's not here, is it? We need a little bucket. It keeps getting nicked. I'm not accusing Sean the digger driver, <laughs> but every time he uses the machine, we never see the little bucket again. Something so goes missing. Yeah, something goes missing. So on to the next place to look for it, I think. Okay, so we found a drill. No bucket. We've got the chop saw. However, the bucket has gone walk is so again i'm not causing i'm not accusing anyone sean but 100%. our mate who picks and drops off the machine occasionally does little forums where he digs out footings and he neglects to put my uh my little bucket back so uh, make it a little bit more tricky but Just won't be being pee if it want a nightmare would it foldy no, would it, anyway they get me belt on as we're on the move and uh yeah i don't know where we're going next i'll tell you in a minute so we've just got back to site and um, Chris is making headway. He's going to trench out the front for the first sleepers. It's going to be a bit, like I said, it's going to be a bit slow on this first few days getting set up and organised. We're sort of having to make it up and design it as we go along. It's quite a lot of technical stuff to do. So it's a bit of a slower process than just getting in and stuck in with a machine and ripping everything to pieces. It, it's not like that. So, uh, yeah, um, we will uh, continue. Um, might flick over to a time lapse, not sure yet. I don't know what Chris is doing, so uh, we'll see. Me and Folds are gonna go get some screws uh, to so get started. Yeah, so uh, me and Chris, uh, sorry, me and Connell have been being sent out to fetch some screws um, so we can get started. Chris is optimistic we're gonna start putting some sleepers in today. Uh, what do you think, Folds? Eh? I think he's lost his mind. I think he's lost his mind as well. However, Never question genius. There's a fine line between genius and insane in there. Stupid. Yeah, genius and stupid it is, yeah. No, that's bravery, isn't it? Bravery and stupid it. But yeah, Chris is sorry in between the two, so. All right, we'll go off on a little, a little mish mish again and uh, pick some bits up. Off we go. Okay, everybody, as I've said earlier, we said we'd do a bit of a Q&A, so I put a little uh, little thing out on the YouTube channel for people to send in questions. Um, I'm just having a little snap break, aren't we? So, um, yeah, here's a couple that have come in. I'll put the first one over to Christopher. Do you travel outside of Nottingham? Yes, but just not for work. <laughs> um, I think... We probably would a little bit further out, depending if the money was right and how it could logistically work. I think because of the people and the companies we use locally, um, I think it'd be quite difficult to sort out, you know, getting the materials, getting the grabs and things like that. So it probably holds up a little bit, wouldn't it? Be a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, maybe. Well, we I would, what I'm saying is I would do if we got a job came in for, I don't know, like Matlock, I, I would if the money was right. Let's not talk about Nottingham, we'll talk about time. We will travel 45 to 50 minutes. Yeah, like, we'd probably do like 50 minutes. And not over an hour. No. So, uh, yeah, and we want petrol money as well. With traffic. <laughs> <laughs> but what's that about, three mile yeah. in Nottingham? Three mile. This is a, a strange one. Who is or was your best villain in EastEnders? That's the Nick. Nasty Nick Cotton. Nick Cotton. Nick Cotton was a bad man, wasn't it? Nick oh, Cotton. Mitchell, bro. Nick Cotton. Didn't oh, he get his son an E once and he was dancing in the laundrette, sprinkling wash powder on his head and all that, and then he fell off a scaffold. No, his son, put, his son pushed him off scaffold, didn't he? Nick Cotton was the best villain, but the most hated was the dude who beat Little Mo up. 
Who be little man? I can't remember now. Was that Trevor? Trevor. 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 Do you know who's the best for me? Who's the best villain? So That's my favourite. My, I only watched this when I was a kid. So it's how long ago it was. My favourite villain was Martin Kemp. In from the craze, who was in Spando Ballet when he played like the gangster guy or in the nightclub oh, and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. That was quite good. However, if we're all serious now, and when I say this to you, you're going to have to agree, pound for pound, the biggest fish in these tenders and always has been is Phil Mitchell, mate. Yeah, Phil Mitchell. He's done everything. Yeah, he's Mitchell. owned everything. He's done it. He was an alcoholic for a bit. He's murdered. He's done about 15 murders, hasn't he? He's done like three months in jail. Alleged. Alleged. Mate. Honestly, he's like kill people. Let me like, tell you something, though. Phil Mitchell won't stop in it. I reckon pan in a fight. I don't know. Yeah, but right. then he'd ring Grant up, wouldn't he? Yeah, but he's like a, he's a mystery, isn't he, Colin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a knife man, isn't he? Nasty Nick. He'd use a blade where it's Phil's yeah. old school on the cobbles. With his well, put it this way, his name was Nasty like Nick. Like Tyson Nasty, he's nasty. He's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> By definition, he's a nasty, nasty. guy. Don't be nasty. Really nasty. Smash nasty. This one. There's, all right, so the next question. How do you find all your work? Is it advertising recommend recommendation or does YouTube get you a lot of work? Um, how long have you been in business? So we've been in business about 15 years, um, but we did it for other companies before. Um, so we've got more experience than that. Um, yeah, we advertise, we've got a website, obviously our Facebook and Instagram. Does YouTube get us work? Obviously we've only been doing it 12 months, but it has done, hasn't it? We've, had, we've worked for a few subscribers now who watch the channel. Um, I don't think they come to us through the YouTube. I think they, I think they come to us because they need a job doing and, and go through the websites and stuff. And then when they start looking into it, it sort of reassures them that we do a good job. Uh, so they'll go with us um, for that reason. This question I've had before and quite a lot, what does BNP stand for? It is not a national racist organisation. Because the thing with the Nottingham accent is when you say it, you say BNP. So it sounds like BMP and we've had, that come, we've had a couple of people ask us in the street, haven't we? And we've gone BNP and they're going, you what, mate? And you're like, no, B and P. So, yeah, it's just our surnames. So it's our combined surnames. That's it's as simple as that. Budget and pray. Budget and pray. <laughs> pay you in. <laughs> Budget and piss off. Um, what's the worst place you have ever done? Which customer was the biggest pain in the arse? Ooh. That's you, Nick, mate. I oh, think well, we can't say names. We can't say names for legal reasons. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to blur that out. He was a bit of a, we had a bit of a naughty Scotsman once, didn't we? Um, who basically, we were quite young in the game and he uh, manipulated a really low price and then just like dogged us, like wouldn't give us any money till we'd done and kept adding on and adding on and, it, and making just outrage. Long story short, he ended up with like 25 grand job for about seven grand in there, like he just dogged us. He paid for materials, but just it was just a nightmare, but we'd got in so deep and it was a learning curve. Um, we had another job um, for a Chinese lady. Uh, well, it's relevant. And um, she, um, we were doing the job and we nearly got to completion on a patio, so we just had to go back and point it up. And I think she lived next door to some like local pub hard man who thought he was Ronnie Cray. And um, he phoned us up and said, yeah, you're not coming back to the job and I'm keeping all your tools and all this stuff. And so we had an argument anyway, and we went round and he, funnily enough, decided he'd, he, he gave us an amount of money that was for like just the materials, wasn't gonna pay us any labor. Um, and basically they were going to go, I think they'd said to her, we'll finish the job for you for like 500, you know, to earn some money out of it and we'd end up getting ripped off. But um, in the end we got the police involved. So we turned up with the police and these guys came out of the house and thought they were all big and hard and then all the police were there and they bottled it and sat on the wall. Yeah, it was a bit like EastEnders. Yeah, and then these, these guys just felt stupid and all, like, and all the police came and we went in and re retrieved all our tools. And they, we were quite young then, like early 20s, weren't we, mid 20s, and they just thought they were like bully boys. But yeah, it was barking up the wrong tree, so they didn't do well. Um, yeah, and then there's the infamous one, but do we even dare talk about that? No. Brief left, coded left. Nah, leave it. <laughs> <laughs> leave that one. Yeah. We don't want to dredge that one back up. All I will say is we had one customer, I think, was struggling a little bit, and um, it got out of hand, and in the end, we had to down, basically down tools and walk off and there was a dispute over money in that, well, we'd showed out probably two odd grand in bits and bobs and she didn't want to pay and there was all this carry on and it just went on and on and on and she was, there was threats and there was, we're gonna do this on Facebook and we're gonna get lawyers involved, which eventually did. And we just responded with all our evidence and we never heard another thing because it was absolute stupidity. But um, yeah, she was, long story short, demanding money back that we, she'd given us 
however we had receipts for everything that she'd had and we were out of pocket but anyway yeah it took two years to get rid of that wretched horrible human being so yeah that was the toughest one so yeah up to now that's all we've had question wise we'll continue it throughout the day if they keep coming in um yeah any more let us know in, in fact if you're watching this video and you have got any questions or anything you're interested in let us know in the comments yeah keep them to yourself no let us know in the comments and don't talk about my hair okay sorry so another couple of them um, come in it says do customers refuse your work because of cameras or do they say not to film while we're building or doing the landscaping works we haven't had it yet i mean i dare say it could happen you might get somebody who's a little bit funny about it well, for whatever reasons if that was the case then they didn't consent we'd we'd we wouldn't you know we won't be able to record we'd have to think of something just do like a strip tease or something couldn't we? in slow motion for an hour and a half we don't film customers. yeah we don't really film the customers do we um it is a difficult one um but yeah we try and be respectful with it all and we don't really get the customers involved unless they ask to be um which has happened um yeah so that's that and then the other one is excuse me it's just gone off Um, basically asking if we'll ever own a, a BMP premises saying um, w will we ever um, would we ever have a central work hub or a storage unit or so on um, we've got a couple of uh, I mean I imagine this question stems from the things getting stolen out of the van um, we do have a couple of I'm going to call them lock ups we've got a couple of garages and things that we do use for the bigger stuff and on occasion um, but if I'm honest, I don't think they're any safer than it's. Probably, it's safer where it is than having it. In, I, mean, I mean, people. When we got the van broken into, oh, you know, we have got these people like shouldn't leave tools in a van. But why? The safer in a garage or a shed? There, <laughs> there's no one ever had the garage or shed. You know what I mean? At your house, but you know, it's just one of those things. Um, you can only do so much. And thing, and we've got some storage. We don't really need storage. We've got a system in place where we don't store materials. We don't have to. Um, we've got people who pick things up and get disposed of things, waste carriers and so on. So it, you just basically, we'd end up renting a yard that cost a load of money and we'd just fill it. It'd just become a tip, wouldn't it? Yeah. We'd just be tipping crap there and it'd just become a mountain of crap and uh, eventually we'd have to get it all cleared at the same cost as just getting it done as we go along. So yeah, we've managed so long without anything like that and I think we should continue to do so. John, we can. Yes. Yes. Chris is eating noodles. Is there a better noodle than sober noodles? We're saying no. Uh, We're saying no. I'm, I'm new to the sober noodle. I only had my first ever pot last shin, week. We used to Teriyaki, be, uh, I think. Teriyaki used to be shin shin or noodles. Japanese shin something. Noodles. Yeah, but you two was eating them red hot things every day. I don't know how you lot do that. I'd be literally be crapping with that. Shin noodles were the number one. Shin noodles! <laughs> sober, we say. Sober noodles are top banana. They're restaurant quality, really, aren't they? Oh, the only argument is there's not enough. You don't get enough. You need, it needs to be at least double the amount, I think. I've just been to the Japanese quarter in Germany, largest outside of Japan, and they were selling these in the shops, which means the top level. Top banana. Yeah. And uh, I think shin noodles too. There you go. So someone's just messaged in and answered a question for Chris. They've asked, what and how did you make the gauges? I can't tell you that. It's a secret. It's a family secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's down from generation to generation. I'll tell you one ingredient. Avocado. Oh, Avocado. That's as far as I can tell that's you. As far as you go. Um what about the decoration? It does have one of those little brollies in it as well. One of those little tiny umbrellas you get in a cocktail. And it's green. That's all I can tell you. There you go. You're gonna have to figure the rest out. Or if you really want the ingredients. Stick a little money in the super thanks. <laughs> you can buy this family secret, but I'm telling you now, you, you, you want millions for it, don't you? Grand. Millions. It's, it's equivalent. It's equivalent for, formula to the flaming mo that Homer invented. That's how valuable it is. Ingredients are kept secret. It's, it just sends. It sent a whole, a whole tribe, a whole. No, not tribe. What are they called? Scout group. 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 What are they called? What are they called? Uh, something of. Uh, whole, uh, oh. What are they called? 
Well, anyway, a whole group. Of I'm scouts. sure it's probably a scout troop. 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 A whole troop of scouts. Send them all. Send them all homosexual. Within minutes, won it as well. Seconds. Second, bro. Seconds. They were like gummy bears bouncing all over the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a scout master move so fast. <laughs> You've never seen a scout master move so fast. Living Come his by life. Come by our. Come by our. We're on, we're live. We're rolling. He's singing up there, but you missed that. Sorry about that. So, the plan is what we're doing, guys. I don't need to get out of any road, but I'm going to for my own safety so let's just wait till this car's gone by and we'll show you he's not playing games that guy he's saying no i'm not going stuff your video yeah. right so putting a new fence down here as nick's probably told you so ran the string line from the top and squared it up down here which will hit Ta -da. this corner here so the fence post is going to go there, up, and then this fence is going to step up from there. We've set our first sleeper upright. So what we're doing with this is, can't go and turn that radio down, mate, just in case. I don't think you can hear it, but we'll take it down. So I'm not going to start, stop talking crap till it's finished. There we go, good. So this support's going up, and then our sleepers are going to run in front of it or behind whichever way you stood but from here it's going to be the other side then we're going to screw in so that's going to run across there that's the top so as you can see the road is running up mahusively so this is going to run level across there that's going to be one planter stepping up i say a planter they're having uh, artificial turf across there and then from there it's going to step up again I'm hoping that it's just two steps, so we're going to come off there down. I've done my calculations. So probably wrong. <laughs> yeah, so there's a 96% chance that they're wrong, but I have run a line and measured it, and this should be the same size again. Just measured it again, and it looks like it, but from here, it doesn't look like yeah, it. it. <laughs> no, it looks a hell of a lot lower, but it is Monday, <laughs> so there could be three steps. Who knows, but we'll, find we'll, we'll, we'll find out at the end, yeah, if it's two or three. So that's running across level to there. It's a bit of a hard one, actually, because it's all over the shop. So what we've got to do is we've dug out. We're going to start from the bottom. It's going to run level. So this one's going to eat into the ground, and then we're going to come up, and it's going to keep running across and across and across till it eventually hits here. I think we're getting to about here on this corner. So we're going to keep them square and then it's going to return up to about the corner of that house and then this is all going to be block paved back up to there and then widen that path out a little bit also the house isn't square to this uh, pavement so if we're stuck the diggers in the way i apologize but it's about there and it runs to about here so it's a tricky one because if we run it off the pavement square which would look better from the road these are going to be out so the plant is going to be out so the top one will be square and then this one's going to come out further which is going to look a bit naff and you'll see it when we put the turf in as well because obviously this is going to be rectangular square match the house and then the turf here the fake fake turf the astro turf is going to be out i'm going to have to cut it on a diagonal so we're going to run it square to the house which will leave a gap on the front we spoke to the customer right and that's the way they want it we want to keep it square to the house and then we'll put an infill of something in there i'm not sure what yet whether it be gravel or tarmac we will find out so we're going to crack on gonna get it done and we're gonna have a bloody good time doing it aren't we boys yeah they go. <laughs> for god's <laughs> sake stinks what is wrong with you i've got you on camera doing that now jesus well, you know, why, why am i getting the blame for that because you did it <laughs> why is you where's your proof 
and I'm going to call your real name Ryan Ebert. Disgusting oh. animal. Christopher Pendleton. Yeah, there you go. Now you can find me on Facebook. <laughs> Cheers. Middle name, middle name Michael. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Michael actually. Oh, no, no, it begins no, no, with an S. But you'll never find out. Have you got a middle name? Got two. Have you? Yeah, got you got a double barrel? Yeah, he's got, he's, got, he's got the good ones though, hasn't he? What is it? Well, tell me off camera. And if, if it's funny, I'll put it back on camera, oh, guys. Funny. His, his middle name's alright, to be fair. Okay. Nick's got a funny one. Oh, it's this. I'll tell you off camera. I don't think you probably want people knowing his full name. No. But I'll tell you off camera. It's a good one. It is a good one, you'll laugh when you hear it. In fact, wait there. Do this, I'll whisper it to you. Oh, I'm going on. Hey, to be honest, it's not bad. Yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I swear like, to God. Like an old man, innit? That's what it is. I'm not whispering That's it not again. bad, though. Goodbye peeps, that's five. Right peeps, done for today. Spin you around and have a look at this. So, lagged it down uh, and we had electrics and the saw and everything else so we didn't get time to film what we've done. But basically, we've put the supports in and then the framework's gone in. put the cap on so that's how that's gone in now normally I know what people are saying it's right it does look better if they were at the back and it looks like that from the front but there's that much weight that's behind it it doesn't support it good enough so if we put those uprights at the back and then screwed in from the front and the way it's pushing against it, it pulls it forward a bit too much. So that just gives it a little bit more. Something you can do, I don't know if the customer's bothered this way, but you can put a couple of timbers on and then infill them middle bits with some feather edge. So it's like fencing or some straight battens or you can put another sleeper in between all the way up. A bit more expensive to do it that way, but that's the way we've done it on these. Once it's all in, it's going to look nice. The fence go up there. The turf's going to sit flush up to it as well. And it'll be nice and solid. I'm going to get in the back. Or get in there and finish all that. Old Burtz is just doing his thing. Packing up. So it's been peeing it down. And those horrible creatures nicked our battery stuff. So we're back onto power stuff for a minute because we've not managed to get a battery um, drill yet. So we're on power. So we've got extension out and yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare at the minute. So that's it. We're in between the rain showers, aren't we, Con? What's that mean? I said we're in between the rain showers, mate. Explaining we're using uh, electric. Yeah. So we've got to be careful with the electric. But we're getting it done crack on again tomorrow this has got to step up now so that's going to run and hit all the way across there into a level and then that's going to run up and then we're going to have a, that going in and then it's going to step up again to there so we're getting there it's all messy there's mud everywhere we're covered in crap so we're going to get the digger out of the way go home and get cleaned up then we'll set you into a time lapse tomorrow when we're doing more stuff. So I'll catch you in a bit. See you later, folks. Good morning, lovely people. Wind's picking up, rain's coming, and we're getting this. How many men does it take to put up a gazebo? Too many. We've had to turn it upside down because the wind's blowing it off, and his little fragile arms can't hold it. Old men, aren't they? We're getting old, we're all getting old. She's tied on. How long do you think it's gonna last in the wind? <laughs> you need to hold on to it and you'll be like Mary Poppins over there, look, in Sad. the distance. I reckon it can hit all the way over there. Up in yonder, lad. Over there, on yonder. That's where I expect you to go, young sir. Look at this, look at him. What a specimen of a human being. 
Force it in, he said. So many innuendos there we could come up with. You don't use no spit around it. <laughs> That's your problem. Rabbit in till it gets in. Disgusting. Let's have a look at some lock. Like Laura and Ardy. They'd put camera down and come on out. But then there'd be nothing to film, would there? It wouldn't be entertaining watching you lot try and lift this when the wind's about to come up. Yeah, the wind takes it, I want to see what happens when you when you turn it over. What's going to fly away? We ain't going to stop it. Connell is. We need some weights to weigh it down, I reckon. Why don't you be useful? You're going to get someone to weigh it down with. Ooh, Side God. Mutiny in the ranks. Ooh. Hips. My hips? Have you seen your hips, mate? Yeah, about the same size as yours. You got, no, they're not. You got hips for days. You got a bit, you've lost two stone and you still got hips. Got more hips than a hippo, boy. Right, I'm turning it off because it's getting ever so nasty now. It's getting nasty He's talking about people's hips and the weight when he knows I struggle with my weight. <laughs> Don't and I'm very there. sensitive about it. Smash that pasty. Don't be nasty, smash that pasty. Right, I've had to come back in now. Uh, look yeah. at this. Ain't going nowhere now with all that weight. <laughs> look at this. That's Connell's answer to win. Can you give me a better answer? Oh, is it working? Is it flowing? Well, my out? answer would be get some string, put it through the holes, tie it to four cement bags. So it doesn't move. Oh yeah, should we get that magical string what we don't have? What's this? Right, yeah, you're not using this. String. This is time hood. Well, we have to get some string, don't we? The wind's picking up. I don't know if it's anywhere. That's gone like Mary Poppins, mate, in a minute. It's not though, is it? It's sturdy as a leather boot. Jesus Christ. This had extra weight, look at this. Oh, here we go, it's getting better now. Double the weight of it now. That corner cut possibly lift up no more. Look at that. Ain't going nowhere mate. Look. Didn't move. <laughs> now, half of him is hoping this is just, he's done that for comical genius on video. Ain't going nowhere. But then the other half of me knows. That's how it's staying. He might have saying. actually done that being serious. And that's what shocks me the most. Come on, I want a good gust of wind to come and fire that brick up into his head. Straight through the van's windows. Oh, here we go. No, 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 do it. Stick to your guns. It works. That's not going to work, is it? Has it moved? <laughs> Got me on a minor technicality. I'm going to be honest with you. Look at that. Look at the winds. Sturdy as oatmeal. Titanic. To be fair, he's got a point. He has got a point. So far, his flimsy attempt to hold it down has worked better than the Titanic. The Titanic is underwater and it's a wreck. And so far, this has worked well. Oh, 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 the blocks have moved. That's a design feature. It's a design feature. If you put too much weight down on it, it will just snap the legs. You need a bit of friction and movement. Jesus Christ. If there's any people watching this that own multi-million pound companies and want this guy Top to and work in the uh, what planning department? Any. Just anything. Design, yeah. uh, running, Basically, if you want to make more CEO. money, you want to make more money, I mean. This is the guy. He can talk the way out of anything. Here we go. Oh, oh, look at it. Look how good it is. Go on, Connell. Has it moved? Uh, yeah, bro. Look. It has moved. Uh, right. I'm going to have to turn this video off, peeps, and do it myself. Morning, everybody. It's Nick at BMP Paving. It is Tuesday. It is raining again. And as usual, we are in a mud bath. So we've started to construct the uh, 
retaining planters they're all in we've had to get btr to move a cable that was connected to this telephone mast to all these houses so the neighbors aren't happy but it had to be done so we've had that re well we had a bit of flex pulling so we could move it because it was too it was too rigid to get in um so yeah we're making headway again it's one of these jobs it's a bit you kind of gotta make it up as you go along and because you kind of don't know where your level is going to be and how it's going to work so we're sort of ordering materials and getting on with things as and when we can do so i appreciate it looks like a bomb site but it will start looking like a job uh, in the next few days so chris is going to take over the recording um apparently <laughs> and uh yeah get a video for you guys um yeah as it stands we need to, me and Folds, we need to go pick some fuel up for the jcb we need to nip down and see my good mates at express tool hire get this uh, breaker cable fixed we think there's a snag in it um and i think that's it drop some money off that's none of your lot's business and uh yeah rock and roll so it's tuesday let's get something done Camera singer Scatman John there. <laughs> right then, people. What time is it? It's early. It's not probably not even nine o'clock yet. Five past nine. We've hit first problem. Not really a problem now, but it could have been a very big problem. Start digging. As always, when you start digging, you find stuff exactly where we need our next post is the main drain so we've got a drain pipe coming down god knows from where could be from this house could be from that house could be from that house but it's running down here somewhere on this angle luckily for us we've got two foot down from there to there so there's at least two foot underground and we're going to encase these anyway in concrete so we're putting them in at the minute just to hold them and then we're going to encase the whole thing in concrete when we're done so could have been a horrible little mistake not a mistake but accident not even an accident problem an occurrence a bad occurrence but yeah so looked out that it was low enough to be fair because it had been higher then we'd have been stuffed would have meant that I don't even know what we'd have done to be fair it would have been bad because obviously that's got to run in an exact line and these have got to be in the middle which is these 2.4 so it's 1.2 1.2 next hole's 1.2 would have meant we'd have had to either stagger it or gone out or done something else and it would have looked crap so we're hoping as we get up there's going to be no more surprises but no doubt there'll be like a gas or electric running through it or some other problem obviously this road's running up so this is stepping up as we're going so what we're going to do now is we're going to come from here put half a sleeper in to the 1.2 and then the next one's going to step up and then run through and then they'll each step up because it's underground so otherwise you'll have to run a full sleeper all the way down which you don't want to do so that's what we're doing now we're going to crack on get this one set get you into another little time lapse doing that and get some work done lad eh and we're going to get some food what are you saying i'm fancying some bacon today mate it's cold either bacon or some nice soup with a crusty bread and butter that'd be nice wouldn't it oh minestrone soup <laughs> It's all going on now. Now, now we are talking.
Okay, so we're beginning to make progress. We've sort of set out the beginning, the face of it now. That's installed. Chris is just now going to knock a bit of soil into about the level so we can work out the level of the next tier. Um, yeah, it's proving to be a bit of an headache. We don't normally do a lot of like, we'll call it joinery work. We don't normally do a lot of it, but obviously it comes up in these situations. So um, yeah, but we're getting there. It's works well. It's sturdy as well. So we've put some big sleeper supports in there, if you can see. Yeah, we've put some big sleeper supports in and we've dug them into the ground. They're concrete in, we've put concrete now. This will all be concrete in eventually as well. Obviously the pavement cleaned down. Um, we have DPC'd the back of it. There's another one to go on top of here, so that will be seen, but we've DPC'd it. Yeah, we'll start backfilling a little bit. Then we're gonna have an external return here. That's gonna be returned up into the bank, probably level. Yeah, there's a lot to it. It's a bit of a techie job, so again, you guys who watch the channel all the time you know it takes a while things always have to get worse before they get better i always say that to customers i said it's going to like look a bit scary in a few days but by the end of it it'll make sense so hopefully by the time you guys see the next video this will be a completely different story Okay, so we have had some more questions come in, Christopher. Caught him off guard. Caught him off guard, bro. Do you want a question for us? Would you like to answer one? I'll answer it. Question is, what's the radio station of choice on site? Ooh. Bit of a mixed bag, this well, one. Well, we do switch it up every now and again. Most played yeah. history. I'd say most played history. Some days we'll start off a bit mellow in the morning with like an 80s, 90s absolute 80s, radio. Like then we'll move on to like maybe dance if the weather's nice, a bit of capital dance, right? Do some extra. When Pem's not around. When Pem's not around, we listen to gangster rap, don't we, Bert? Yeah, yeah boy! That's it for you fellas. Who told you that tip? You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah, that's it. We we, be, we do change it up quite a bit because anyone who knows who listens to the radio all day at work, it gets very, very repetitive, yeah, le tedious, doesn't it? Same songs. Yeah. Be like faulty jokes. I got no jokes. I'm here for jokes. It's got facts, facts. promises, yeah, or lies. Or okay, another question that's come in. Hi, do you think we'd ever do a joint job with DJ Projects? Oh. <laughs> Funnily enough, guys. I think that dream's about to come true. So um, yeah, I think next month we've got a big job on. There's a lot of fencing going on. I think it's about 14 or 20 odd bays of fencing to do and we can't stand fencing. So um, I think Dave and the boys or Stevie's gonna come on site and get that done. So we shall, we shall be on their channel and they shall be on ours and we shall have fun together. And they shall spend most of their time bleeping everything we say out as they have a family channel and we are a bunch of morons. Yeah. Yeah, well, I said that, it's only fencing. The customer was going to have 50 square metres of resin in the back garden, which is quite rare, but he's changed his mind now and he wants fencing, so... But Dave will still be there anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's if his lordship turns up. Who knows? That's a big if, but, a maybe. If, but, a maybe is. Let us see. I suppose this one's for me. It says, have you always been a five-man team and do you think you'd expand if you were really busy? Right. So... We get quite a lot of questions or comments and some snotty comments about all this. In the past, we have had two gangs. Occasionally, recently, more recently, we will separate. So, um, like me and Colin will go on one job, um, Chris and Ryan will go on another, and then we'll get like a couple of labourers in and help us out, and we'll do two at the same time. It depends on the ease of the job and how stressful it's going to be and the organiser, you know. Um, so we do do that on occasion, but. It then, if you I mean if you to operate like that, that means you've then got to bring twice the amount of working, which means then I have to do twice the amount of quoting and etc. And I just don't think there's enough hours in the day, so it kind of just works how it works now. It works the way we do things, you know. Um, it's there's a really nice balance between the amount of work coming in and the amount we get done, and it's sort of always ahead of ourselves, and it's yeah, it's pretty good. I think if we started ramping it up and doing more and more and more, you've got to get in more and more work, and it's not that simple sometimes. So in an ideal world, but. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll ever be billionaire with 40 people working for us, but uh, I haven't really got any intentions of being. Happiness is far more important. I wouldn't have said that one. Pardon? not happy though. Speak for yourself. 
Here's one for you, folds eh? I want Ryan on this one, I know. It's to this. I was thinking off the back of Chris's uh, scout carry on last week and about him being banned from the scouts, it started me thinking, what's the sh stupidest thing you've ever done? You know, like the most dangerous, I was thinking, what's the most dangerous? Like I'll go, what? I've got one. What, don't, don't ruin this for me. I'll be ruining it. What are you going to say? Stupid thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, it's going to work here. Oh, you got me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh I tell you what. That's right. Mine, right, is for some reason I decided the clever idea to fill a super soap car with unleaded petrol when I was like about 12. And the idea was I was going to pump it up and super glue so they take two matches to the nozzle and when i sprayed it like the matches and it was going to be a 30 foot flame for like in the movies the reality of it is if it had have lit it would have probably exploded and blew me to pieces and i would now be like 80 percent burns if not dead so every time i think about that i fucking wince and i think oh my god and i think i'm sure you were there it was in your garage because oh, it was about low crit that's i've known chris he was 11 years we used to hang around when we were little kids i'm pretty sure it was in your garage and the only reason it didn't work is because the petrol came out that fast it blew the match out we actually sprayed the petrol out didn't we we did it in your back garden right, yeah. that's not the stupidest thing ever. that is pro that is pretty stupid that is pretty stupid like what did you think was going to happen it was never going to be it was never going to be like what did i mean your mum's back garden what we're going to do like arnold schwarzenegger and predator spray and flame for it and your mum was going to go oh whoa don't make you so intelligent blowing a 30 foot i was going to get killed someone was going to get hurt or set fire to your ass or something it was just ridiculous so that's the stupidest thing i do fold there jokes aside can you think of anything you've ever done where you think wow i shouldn't have probably done that Huh? Most weekends for Foldy, it's quite a common occurrence, I think. For legal work... reasons? Yeah, for legal reasons, Foldy won't um, divulge. Okay. okay, so we are slowly but surely getting somewhere. It's about lunchtime. We've got the first run in. Just got to put another sleeper on the top, obviously, we've got to clean everything down, and we're just trying to setting out the second one now. We're just putting these posts in, but of course, so we haven't even like cut these we've, we've, we're we're putting them in full length in the ground for, for the stability and the, for the retention so we have to dig like i don't know four three four foot holes to drop them in in concrete so tomorrow we're gonna backfill them all with concrete so they'll be every whatever it is 1.6 meters along and then the next one will go in like this run and then we'll co connect these up at this side here along here and we're gonna kind of look at the levels and now we're gonna do this one every slide around I'm not official turf and so on and so forth. So we're getting there. However, I am off to Italy. Uh, and then Chris is going to carry on with the job with the boys, get that recorded, and we shall uh, see that next Sunday. So you guys watching this next Sunday will complete the sleeper job. So happy days, enjoy.